Hey, we're live as James speaking, TrainingSites.io, uh, Nana Banana Pro came out today, this morning. Earlier in the week, it was Gemini 3. I've been doing a whole bunch of videos on how this is important to coaches, consultants, speakers, teachers, anyone who's in the education space. Uh, and this morning, in fact, I did a video and it was about replacing lessons with mini apps. I created a mini app that does one, did the lesson, uh, posted it, and then I started looking at YouTube and it was all about Nano Banana Pro, which is Google's image creator and or editor manipulator that does some really cool things about being able to work immersively with images. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about the new version. I was figuring out, well, how could we use that great tool and allow it to basically help us teach something? So what I did is I came up with a couple ideas. And again, this is live. It, uh, I watched the videos a couple hours ago. I'm at AI Studio right now, which I covered this morning. This is a, going to allow me to build a mini app. And I was trying to figure what are some mini apps that I could create that would allow me to really show off Nano Banana Pro that manipulates images and or uh, makes it an immersive learning experience as opposed to reading some text or seeing an image or watching a slide deck with someone like me talking on it. So here's, here's what I did. Uh, I went and I'm going to open this up from another screen. I went to Claude actually, because I like Claude for some of the more marketing related questions and answers. Uh, and one of the things I was asking about is like, if I had a couple ideas for creating a mini app on AI Studio that showed this multimodal input and output that focuses on Nano Banana, what are a couple examples? And I came up with a script reading coach app and a studio setup optimizer. Now, the reason I did this is because I'm doing YouTube videos. I don't necessarily have a coach, but if I was a YouTube coach, wouldn't it be great if you could give your students an application that would help them practice and have them come back and evaluate what they did or discuss what they did? Wouldn't it be great if you could replace some text in a talking head with something that people actually do as opposed to just know? And wouldn't it be wonderful if you could actually explain what it is that they're doing while they're doing it, as opposed to trying to get them to even bother doing it in the first place? So I had a couple came up. The one I'm gonna do right now is I'm doing this live. I haven't done it. Script Reading Coach app. So what this does is it allows you to choose from a script library, sales pages, course intros, webinar opens, YouTube hooks, read the script while the app records the video and the audio. So what we're doing is we're doing multimodal input. It's going to analyze it. This is Gemini 3 analyzing it. And then we're gonna get something back using Nano Banana Pro. It's gonna go and take a look at the eye contact, facial expressions, all of this cool stuff, and make some suggestions uh, in terms of a color-coded performance metrics, and then show facial expressions, adjustments, posture fixtures, and energy level demonstration. So this is gonna be generating images based on analysis of something that we've done. Live experiences, not content, live experiences. So I'm just gonna copy this and let's see what we come up with. Now I'm going directly into, uh, into the uh, Google AI Studio. Let me just go back one here. I had a couple apps. I've been playing around with this obviously for the last little while. I'm in Google AI Studio, so it's aistudio.google.com forward slash apps, which is the build one. And I'm just gonna to go to start here and I'm gonna describe my idea. And I made sure I've got Gemini 3 Pro as the preview, and I'm gonna click build. So what's happening now in the background, it's taken my description and it's going to come up and build out my script reading coach or app. And hopefully it'll follow the instructions as best as it can. Obviously, the better instructions I put in, the more clear, more context and intent, it's going to create something that is uh, more suited to it. But we'll wait and see actually what happens. And then I'm probably going to have to make two or three little tweaks to it. I'll do those with you. Sometimes I might pause it just while it goes in the background. And the reason I'm saying that, of course, is that on the left-hand side, you can see that it's been running now for 40 seconds. Uh, it thought for 23 seconds first, and it's building out all of these pieces. So I'm just going to pause the video. We'll wait till it comes back and then we'll actually talk about it a little bit further. 
Okay, we're back. Uh, I did take a couple minutes just to uh, make some small adjustments to the app and you'll see them. I'll explain them while I go through. It took me three or four extra prompts. And again, I've just done this in maybe 20 minutes uh, with some thought obviously about doing it for a demo. But if you are a coach, consultant, speaker, teacher, anyone who's creating courses or educational content, and you can think about how can you immerse someone doing something, what it is that you're trying to teach them. That's my whole goal here. And specifically, we're going to take a look at how Nano Banana Pro, the ability to image or edit or generate images and or changes to images based on references that we have. This is a, just a really cool application. So here we go. I'm going to read into the script. It's going to take a picture of me while I'm doing this. And then we're going to analyze me uh, executing the script, make some suggestions, and you're gonna see exactly what happens because this is my script coach that's gonna tell me more about how I'm reading just the audio, but how I'm actually presenting it. So I'm gonna pick one of these ones here. We'll do the, uh, I'll do the high energy hook one and we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna pick that one and it comes up and you're gonna see that I have my scrolling piece here. On the right hand side, I have the ability to speed up uh, and slow it down. And I can also use my mouse to move it up. So I'm just doing it as an example. Okay, this is a demo. We'll see what happens here. So I'm going to hit start recording. It'll count me down and then we'll do the record. Stop before you buy that new camera. Um, about its sensor in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you why bigger isn't always better. And I know this one mistake could be costing you. Let's dive in. So obviously I made a mess of that one. Let's just see what our script coach says and how we can actually improve what's going on here. And again, the idea that I've got is not only is it going to analyze me verbally in the way that it was delivered, but also you're going to see that it's got some different uh, coaching and AI edits that it's suggesting. There we go. So here we go. It took a picture of me. And you can see that I'm looking down, not looking into the camera. And then it's got me looking up directly at the camera. Now I'm losing more hair each time this happens, but that's okay. And then this one, we're going using some energy back and forth and getting you a little bit more involved. So you get to see it's generating images on the fly, showing me what I'm doing, letting me know how I sound, for example, Overall score 3.2 out of 100. I need some work to do. The pace was low, tone was low, no energy, no eye contact. So it was analyzing what I'm doing. Got some examples there. And then it has a bit of some coaching about why this matters. And then a technique to try. And then some summaries and things to work at. And even some practice drills. I've done this just in a couple minutes. So think a little bit more about something other than courses. Nano Banana, anything has to do with images and editing, photorealistic, allowing you to manipulate your space, how things look, where things are positioned, what you're doing, analyzing it. The part that's cool about this, you have to remember Gemini 3 is multimodal. It's not reading from the transcript. It's visually analyzing the image. This is a high-end thing that I think is a dramatic change that most people just aren't paying attention to. And it's not only video, it is voice and even product placement, which I'll show you in the next video. My name is James. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoy this. Got all sorts more videos coming up about how Gemini 3 and all of these cool new Google tools are dramatically changing the entire education market. Whether you're trying to sell courses or you're in the traditional teaching mode, this is absolutely cool stuff. So pay attention. Take care and expect the best.